Over the past several months, we've been telling you about a rise in homicides and car thefts in places pretty much all across Connecticut. And this morning, a new report from the FBI is providing us with numbers to show what that increase has looked like year over year. Fox 61's Angelo Bavaro is joining us now with a breakdown from Hartford. Angelo. Yeah, good morning, guys. So according to these new numbers, the rate of homicides, that was up 30% from 2019 to 2020. And the rate of car thefts, that was up 40%. These new numbers, again, based on that new FBI report and the information in that, that is based on data collected from local law enforcement agencies all across the country. And that report also providing these graphs, giving us some more context into the overall trends in crime here in Connecticut and also, also at the national level. So take a look at this one. This is the graph showing the rate of homicide since 1985 per 100,000 people. That is according to FBI data. Now the blue line in this trend is in Connecticut and the pink line, that is the national trend. And according to this graph, the rate of homicides rose 30% in Connecticut from 2019 to 2020, which is in line with a national increase. And moving on, vehicle deaths, those saw an even bigger increase, like I mentioned, in Connecticut from 2019 to 2020 at around 40%, with Connecticut seeing a spike up from its lowest point recorded in 35 years back in 2019. And also in this case, that rate was up nationally as well. Now, criminal justice experts say it is hard to pinpoint one specific cause for these increases, but they do think the pandemic and the breakdown of trust between police departments and communities could be playing a role in all this. And when it comes to what the numbers will look like going forward, well, that is hard to tell. Take a listen. I can't speculate going forward. You know, so I, I we have the data and trying to figure out what's happening, trying to figure out why it's happening. Um, but I, I, the the most I can go is say that this is really concerning. We really do need to pay attention from for, to it. Researchers need to really consider what they can do in terms of trying to figure this out, but they have to be patient. But on the ground, you know, the community working with the police, the police working really closely with the community, building that relationship to try to figure out what, how they can help each other. Thanks for the opportunity to testify about recent events. Graph right here showing a bit of good news, at least here in Connecticut. This is the rate of all violent crime offenses since 1985. And as you can see, while the rate of violent crime ticked up nationally from 2019 to 2020 for the first time in years, it actually hit a low point here in Connecticut, continuing an overall downward trend that has been underway for decades. So the big point here is that we just have to wait and see what these trends actually turn out to be, because these researchers say they need at least three points in time to determine an overall trend. We are live in the capital city this morning. I'm Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.